In this video, we'll be learning about using APIs of all new Blink 2.0 and we'll be learning the APIs for both writing the data to the Blink Cloud and reading the data from the Blink Cloud. And for those of you who are wondering about, hey Sachin, what API actually is? Well, if I cover it in very short, that APIs can be termed as a URL, which you can request from any of the internet enabled device to write the data on the cloud or to read the data from the cloud. And that device can be a mobile phone, smartphone, uh, tablet, laptop, smartwatch, any IoT device. The device can be anything that has internet connection and HTTP library, you can see, okay? So now specifically talking about the Blink APIs, then using Blink APIs, you will be able to control the appliances by requesting that link, or you'll be able to read the census data by requesting another REST API link from mobile phone, maybe. But again, you must be wondering that, hey, Sachin, we already have the you know beautiful looking Blink uh, mobile application and web dashboard. So why to use those ugly APIs on web browser? Well, you are absolutely right. But Blink APIs or the other APIs in general have so much capacity, have so much uh, flexibility. You can say, for example, I talk about controlling the Blink appliances using smartwatch. Well, Blink don't have any application for smartwatch as of now, but you can make that happen what you can do is you can design your own application for smartwatch and you can add the blink apis in it and by touching that button on the smartwatch the blink api will be called and you'll be able to control the appliances using the mobile uh, using the smartwatch and that is one of the many other applications of those apis also one very interesting example which i made in uh, one of my youtube uh, video which is controlling blink appliances using augmented reality now blink don't have any application for augmented reality but i made that and we can control the appliances by just touching the button in the air you can check out that video while like the link is mentioned in the description okay so those are the applications of apis and in this video i'll be teaching how you can use the apis for writing the data and reading the data so let us straight away jump onto the computer and have a look over the structure of the api Okay, so here is the Blink Web dashboard of one of my project, which I made and installed in my studio, which is about controlling four lights and also controlling speed of one AC fan. Let me show you the demo. So here I can control the lights from this uh, widgets and also I'm able to turn on the fan from this slider as you can see it's working live in action so that is already made and let me tell you i won't be going into detail about the blink side in this video because what i think is if you're watching this video you probably are aware about blink and are here just to know how to use the apis okay so that's it so if you want to uh, understand about blink or if you don't know what how to use this blink platform well i'll leave the link for that down in the description of this video so do watch it out and learn more about blink and talking about the hardware side of the project then here i'm using the all-in-one home automation project that will uh, help you to control four ac appliances and speed of one fan and we are selling this project through our platform so you will be getting all the components already shouldered on the pcb along with esp32 along with the uh, fan manual fan regulator switch you can say okay everything will be delivered at your doorstep do check out the link mentioned in the description if you're wondering about the PCBs used in this project then this wonderful PCBs we got delivered from JLC PCB and even you can get your own custom design PCBs from that. You just need to upload the Gerber file of the PCB project, select the color masking according to your choice and just pay for your order. And well, if you select the fastest delivery option in JLC PCB, well, you may get them delivered at your doorstep within a week. So do try ordering your own custom design PCB for your next PCB project from JLC PCB. Okay, so coming back to our video. So here uh, we already control using the Blink widgets, right? No big deal. Let us try with the Blink APIs. So here in this video, I'll be covering three different kind of APIs, which are the most commonly used APIs. You can say out of the out of them, one will be for writing the data into the uh, pin into the Blink cloud. Another will be reading the data from the Blink cloud and third will be getting to know the status of your Blink project, whether it is online or offline. So these three uh, APIs that we are, we are going to discuss in this video. Let's start with the first one, which is to get the status of your Blink project. So here the structure goes like, first of all, you need to provide the address or the server address on which your account is hosted. Now, how you can know? Well, you can know from this Blink console. So down in the bottom corner, it is written as 
region colon in my case it is blr1 okay in your case maybe same maybe different depends upon your location okay so you just need to write the region name uh, here like blr1 dot blink dot cloud so this will be your location on which your account is hosted after that slash external slash api slash is hardware connected okay so this is the structure you can say after that here we have put a question mark then we have written as token is equal to and here you need to provide the blink authentication token and some of you get even confused like hey Sachin there is no authentication token in blink 2.0 well no my dear friend they also have the authentication token for the newer generation of blink which can get it by going into your uh, device info and here is that blink authentication token just copy that authentication token and provide it into this API okay. So yeah, that was it about the API for getting the hardware status, whether it is online or offline. So let's just test it out and I press enter. Well, it returns true in the uh, web browser, which reveals that the device is actually online. So this is how you can test whether it is online or offline using API. And to uh, uh, show you another demo, uh, what I'll do is I'll copy uh, the authentication token of another Blink project, which is currently offline. And if I paste that authentication token here, and press enter as you can see it returned false that means that device is currently offline so with this api you can check out the status of your project let us quickly move on to the next api which is to write the data on a particular pin okay so for that the structure goes like first of all the server name pretty common already discussed then slash external slash api slash update update just because you want to update the data onto that virtual pin or any of the pin okay question mark token is equal to then your authentication token that we already seen you can copy and paste it from the device info and here you need to write the uh, virtual pin and the data so here i have mentioned as v0 is equal to 4 so this line will write the data for inside the virtual pin v0 so let me just uh, turn on the light using the api so light is connected to the virtual pin v1 and to turn it on i needed to send the data as one well it already got turned on right now okay because it got requested by the web browser but if i turn it off by writing zero here as you can see it got turned off and similarly i can turn on another light like v0 is equal to one as you can see it got turned on then v3 is equal to 1 it got turned on again and v4 is equal to 1 turned on again okay yeah i can even turn it off by writing the data 0 so if i write v4 is equal to 0 as you can see the light got turned on and even i can turn on the fan the fan is connected at virtual pin v0 and if i write as speed 4 it will be turning on at the top speed uh, which is fourth speed and as you can see the fan started running so i am able to control all the blink uh, connected devices using those apis rather than the you know web ui or mobile ui nothing just a simple link request it from any platform and you will be able to control them and not only that the same data will be reflected here inside the web dashboard or mobile dashboard as well so i can turn off the fan from here and i can turn on the light from here as well okay so every data is reflected on this platform so yeah that was all about using apis for writing the data and now last but not the least reading the data on the virtual pin and the status or the structure goes like this uh, server name pretty common slash external slash api slash get so this time we need to get the data earlier we written uh, we wrote as update but now we have to get the data of the pin so get is written here question mark token then provide the authentication token of your blink project and here you need to provide the pin of which the data you want to read for example i'm reading the data of v0 as of now so the data is coming as zero because the uh, the fan is at the speed zero it's turned off so if i turn on the fan like make it speed four and if i read the data again of the same v0 pin as you can see i got the data as four so you can you know change the virtual pin from here and get the data of different different pins from uh, using this api link okay so yeah these were the three very basic api links but this will prove really very helpful for your blink projects for your advanced blink projects so do click the like button if you're already excited to use this apis for your next projects which doesn't use the mobile application web application and yeah do share those kind of projects with us on our instagram whose link is mentioned in the description and yep yeah, uh there are a couple of more apis provided by the blink platform whose link i'll mention in the description like the official page of that api link uh, api documentation i'll provide it because i didn't cover those because those are some like an additional apis but these are kind of a must use or must have apis you can say 
and this is something which i think should be discussed in this video but otherwise you can check out the other apis as well and yeah do click the like button if you really like this video also you can support us by giving us a super thanks and also support us on patreon if you think so if you can't do any of the thing you can just do one thing and that is totally for free which is to subscribe this channel to get more such content about electronics iot clouds and ar ai new projects new IoT devices and everything related to this. So do subscribe to get notified whenever we are putting up a new video on our channel. And yeah, you can also buy this hardware project to make your home and office a smart home and a smart office. The so link is mentioned in the description. Do check it out. It's really useful, really interesting. We already sold more than 50 or 60 units of it. I don't remember the number, but yeah, that was it about this video. I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next other explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.